This is ESPN Cricket Info, top action of the day, powered by Star Sports. I'm Rana Kapoor in the company of Sanjay Bangar. We're looking back at the first day's play of this third test, Sanjay. And plenty of action in the first session. May I say, probably the most competitive session we've seen in this series. And courtesy Kagiso Rabada, opening spell, 7 overs, 2 for 15, 2 big wickets at the time. And as we try and figure out what worked for Rabada, why was he uh, asking so many questions of the Indian batsman? What's the first thing that came to your mind? Why was he testing India's batsmen so much more in that session? I mean, the, the most striking point for me was, you know, pace bowlers hunt in pairs. Yeah. So far, what was happening is that uh, there was Rabada at one end and Philander bowling from the other end, mm. as far as new ball is concerned. And uh, uh, the penetration wasn't really there. So, yes. the pressure wasn't being created from both ends. So, what I feel is that with uh, Ingedi and uh, the other seamer coming in, he had uh, better support and mm. better uh, incisive spells uh, from both ends. And yeah. that put a lot of pressure on... Batters, so there were pressures from both ends, and uh, they bowled, kept, kept bowling in the right area. They hit the right length. Mm. Uh, their lines were very impressive in the first 20 overs. Uh, I feel they got the dividend for bowling such a disciplined line. For such a for a bowler like Rabada who has the pace, what's the biggest what's the biggest nightmare for like an opening batsman? You have a Rabada who's we've seen Mayank Agarwal not sure if he wanted to come onto the front foot or not, eventually edging to slip. Pujara as well. Is it the length that he got right today that poses the biggest question? Uh, well, what happens is that when the wicket is of a l slightly lower bounce as yeah. compared to Pune, the batsmen are in the mindset of playing a lot of balls. Mm. So, eventually they might play balls which are on the fourth stump line uh, and in, in, the, in, the, in an effort to protect their pads yeah. as well. Yeah. At times, they continue to play inside the line of the ball and that, that is why they end up mm. giving their outside edges. I mean, that was the case with Mayank Agarwal. But uh, apart from that, I mean, due credit to South African yeah. bowlers because they kept bowling in the right areas and asked the right questions. Right. But Rohit Sharma had the answers to those questions and he saw out that tricky phase when Rabada had his tail up, when Ngidi and Andrik Nokia were putting in a very decent supporting act and he's managed to bring up his uh, sixth test done. So, it's been a dream series for Rohit Sharma, a gamble that's clearly paid off now with him being uh, sent up top of the order. And uh, what was the most impressive part of this particular 100? He seemed very assured they weren't as much of playing and missing as there was perhaps with the other batsmen. Something about Rohit Sharma that, that really stood out this morning when they, when they were testing conditions. Yeah. yeah, again, the standout point for me was, you know, how he uh, left a lot of balls outside yeah. off stump. He was very sure where his off stump was. Hmm. And he had a plan of, you know, waiting for the ball to come to him. Uh, and if the ball was pitched short, he was willing to go with, for his favourite area, which is over mid-wicket or over square leg, wherein he... Uh, he you know, continues to play the pull shot so well. So, apart from that, gradually we are seeing an, a template of Rohit Sharma which, which is like emerging in test format yeah. as well. Because in one-day format, he plays in a particular fashion. He has his own set template wherein he, he would start slow, take his time and then, you know, up the ante a bit. But in test cricket as well, we are seeing that, uh, you know, as he is settling in the role of an opener, mm. uh, it augurs well for Indian cricket because... Uh, if he can get through the new ball yes. and he's batting till the 40th over because I think he got his 100 by the 40th over. Mm. So, uh, eventually, he's graduating the starts into big 100. Yeah, I mean, he's striking at 70 and in that second session of play, we saw the action that uh, we're talking about, that Sanjay talks about, took on the spinners, got his good friend Dane Pete back and went for those sixes again, did Rohit Sharma and uh, someone who's sort of watched him in close quarters, the ability to hit the lofted shot with such authority, that perhaps stands out. A lot of batsmen hit sixes, but Rohit Sharma has just got this ability to hit sixes that I'm sure with bowlers would just put them off completely. Yeah. Uh, and whenever he played at number six, that yeah. quality of him was helping the side big time. Because yeah. uh, at, at that stage, you would expect at least a spinner bowling from one end and then he was batting with the tail. So, uh, it, it worked well for an in, uh, Indian team wherein mm. he was batting at number six, but because of the combination that the team is op opting to play, uh, there was no place for him and he's making full use of the opportunities at the top of the order uh, when he's got a consistent run as an opener. Uh, Sanjay Bangar, thank you very much for your thoughts and your time. More uh, after day two, hopefully we'll have uninterrupted play on day two. Bad light uh, just cutting short the day's action, but not before Rohit and Rabada stood out in Ranchi. This sums up our uh, ESPN Trick Info top action of the day, powered by Star Sports.